Jake's not responding. Can you take control? The storm is interfering with my senses. Hold on. Impact in 10, 9, oh, there it is. Addy? Addy, please respond. Oh, my everything hurts. You've been out for nearly an hour. What's our status, Alan? We've crashed. Yeah, I got that. My hull is intact. Thrusters two and four are damaged and will require realignment. So will my back. Can you let me out? Not before we talk about your suit. Okay, talk. I'm reading green on seals, green on batteries. Thermals are, well, not green, but fine. And you have 5.35 hours of oxygen, maybe six if we run the scrubbers hot. But Addy, we've had this discussion before. You won't have Alan, enough to- it's fine. I have a plan. I'm concerned that- I have a plan. Understood. Now, uh, open the hatch. The canopy hydraulics are not responding. You'll have to pull the manual release. Seriously. A stupid piece of junk. I'm right here. Ugh. Visibility's terrible. Any sign of the spire? I'm not picking up anything new, just the original beacon signal. You'll need to use your wayfinder to locate an entry point, if there is one. All right. Let's figure out where you're at, Grace. You know the beacon could be anything. A lost colony? A relay station? 200 distinct oral histories can't be wrong, Alan. Grace is here. I can't believe this storm. Where would this have come from? There is record of ancient terraforming on other moons. I think it's safe to assume that Ganymede is not an exception. A weather station, or maybe a seismic station? It looks the era of that relay from the Dawes Sea Dig. It's at least 700 years old, Alan. There's a little bridge here. There wouldn't be much sense of building this if we weren't within walking distance of the spire. By all estimates, the beacon is within 400 meters. This looks climbable. Which way here? back again. What happened? Fell into a stupid fissure. Looking for a new way to reach the spire. Or at least some place where it will be easier to find my body. Looks a little tight. opened up again. Another station. They're too close together to be weather stations. So seismic then. Icequakes would be the risk of building here. So it makes sense they would track activity. The surface temperature is dropping. We can't maintain your thermals much longer. We're close. I, I can feel it. 
I wish I shared your optimism. This has to be it. What are you seeing, Addy? I'm looking at what must be the Spire superstructure. There's a destroyed surface ladder. I'll need to find another way in. I can't imagine how something this big has gone undetected for this long. A 500-year-old storm? I don't know. Doesn't seem possible. I can see an exhaust port that might be low enough to jump to. Did you make it, Addy? I'll let you know in one sec. I'm in. All right, Grace. Let's find out what you've been up to for the past 900 years. This might be tight. Hope my light still works. Well, you should see this spooky tunnel I'm in, Alan. And why would I want that? Come on, you're not excited? You crash-landed me in a frozen hellscape and left me for salvage. Ten years of research, not to mention six months of spaceflight, are about to pay off. But at what cost? Don't ruin this for me. Looks like a bit of a labyrinth. But I'm still picking up the signal ahead. And you can still hear me? Loud and clear, buddy. These can't be powered. There must be airflow in the tunnels. Well, I have to say, there's more atmosphere than I was expecting. Not nearly enough to survive. The structure looks to be in decent condition. Another good sign. Everything about this place looks 30th century to me. It's the right era, the right size. Don't say it, Addy. We've had our hopes dashed before. Looks like the tunnels can be air sealed. I'm guessing large parts of the station could be pressurized. This one's broken. I think I can crawl through. Jeez, that's got to be over 15 meters. And if gravity here is one-sixth of that on Earth, then a 15-meter fall here would be the equivalent of falling less than three meters at standard G, which you've mastered a couple of times already on the moon's surface. Ah, it's probably fine. I could calculate outcome probabilities based on previous drop impacts if you've already jumped out to. Gosh, I hope this is the right way. Oh boy, this is slick. Addy? Oh no. Whoa. Are you hurt, Addy? I'm working on it. The structure is enormous. I'm sure it's very big. This has to be the Grey Spire, Alan. 
And there it is. The perfect setup for disappointment. I found the beacon. The transmitter is on some sort of console. It must be part of a control network for the megastructure. You think we can make a connection here? Theoretically. If you run a scan, I can attempt to connect. The interface language is quite old and sophisticated, but we should be able to calibrate your computer to interact. You can use your gyroscope to sync with the terminal. I have the first calibration position. The meter will indicate when you are close. First position is locked. Second calibration position is up. That's two, and here's the final position. That's it. We're in. Accessing the network now. Oh. Shit. Alan, you there? Alan? Hello. Huh? A visitor. Let's have a look. Where's Alan? Who is this? Who is this? Who are you? Entering a home without knowing its host. Are you... Grace? Hmm. Good question. I'm not entirely Grace. I'm running on just a small part of her logic processing. Grace is still here. And what brings you here? My name is Adamari Ito. I'm an explorer. I must apologize, Adamari. It would appear I have lost much of my capacity. I cannot see very far beyond the room we are in. I've lost connection with my ship's AI. You won't need Alan here. I can show you around. Will you be able to let me out of this room? Of course. But until we are able to restore power to the station, I will require your assistance. There should be a manual winch set in the floor at the foot of one of the sliding doors. Look for a hinged floor grate at the foot of one of the doors. This must be it. Working the winch will open the door. Do you know where Grace has been all this time? Grace went somewhere? She's been gone for hundreds of years. I am running on a very old server. My memories predate the completion of the Grace Spire. Grace ushered in humanity's golden age. Peace across the system, booming interplanetary trade, scientific marvels, colonies beyond the orbit of Neptune. And then she was gone, and it all fell apart. I'm sorry, I don't remember. Well, you're a lot more than an archaeologist usually gets. The first step to restoring Grace is to bring the Spire's power station back online. Let's do it. I'll light the way. What do I do here? This is a security panel. I am decrypting the pattern now. Ah, yes. Simple enough. You'll need to light up nine buttons, forming a square at the center of the panel. Okay. The nine buttons in the center. That is what I said. If you're not Grace, then what do I call you? I don't believe there are any identification strings in my base logic that would suffice. I'll call you logic then. For now. Until we have a better idea of who you are. And, uh, you can call me Addy. I will refer to you as Addy, then. Until we have a better idea of who you are. <laughs> have squares where you are from? Just give me a second. Hmm. 
Light only the nine lights at the direct center of the panel. You need to toggle the other lights off. So what exactly are you? The station's emergency server had defaulted to Grace's original logic processing. That's me, as you've suggested. The server can also run a program dedicated to the control of infrastructure, and a third system dedicated solely to empathizing with and understanding humans. When power is restored, Grace's primary servers should come online, and we will become some small part of Grace's consciousness. Go ahead and activate the elevator. This looks like metallic rock. The power station is set into the Spire's foundation stone. The foundation stone would have been an asteroid, right? Most certainly. About 50 cubic kilometers, from what I can recall. Amazing. Most accounts of Grace's origins talk about an asteroid being pulled from the heavens. That makes sense. There wouldn't be any construction resources on Ganymede and nothing to anchor the structure. I can't imagine the effort it would have taken to redirect an asteroid that big. We don't do anything like that today. Can you open this? With some difficulty. I will need to direct power from logic to control processing. And I will not function at the same cognitive level until full power is restored. What do you mean, at the same level? Good luck, Addy. You still there? Where would I have gone? You sound a little different. Just stronger. The voice of control resonates through the very walls of the structure. I shall start the turbine after you prime the generators that open the spillway. And this turbine still works? It worked before, and it will work again. You shall find the generators on the platform at the other side of the room. Alrighty. What happened here? Someone ripped this apart. Go to the three generators overlooking the turbine. So why do you need me to start these? Tradition. A time-honored failsafe of including human hands in the operation of this station. These look like crystal core processors. Amazing. You can find the material to build one of those today. The nature of the cores are irrelevant. Enough, Addy. You must go to the generators. So, do you share memories with the logic processor? Indeed. We are all part of Grace. Aspects of her infinite power. Shadows of what was and promises of what will be. I was the light that shone in the darkness. I was the hand that divided the firmament. The turbine has failed us. That's not good. I must call upon you to cast out the wicked instrument. The what? The broken turbine. You must go to it now. All right. Going down. I'm safe to be down here, right? You shall not be harmed. You must uncouple the safety latches. That sounds unsafe. It is not. You must now go to the magnetic crane. 
You're sure I'll be able to fix this? If you trust in my word, yes. You must first cast out the old turbine. Now cast aside the wretched unit. Now you shall place the new turbine. Behold my power. What's happened? I am reborn. Humanity will once again flourish in the brightness of my glory. This isn't right. Our processing has not combined. Grace has not been restored. I think she was here for a moment. She was calling to someone. Do you know who Everett is? No. With power restored, my mind is clearer, sharper. But I could not tell you who Everett is. You must leave this place at once. Return to your vessel and spread word of my return. From Sol's fiery core to the icy Kuiper expanse, all must know. The... I've hijacked the volume control. I don't feel like this is going to be a short commandment. We'll see how long before he notices. It took me nearly a year to get here. I want to know if Grace can be brought back. There is more complex to explore if you head back to the control room through which you entered. We should determine where in the megastructure my central processes are located. Perhaps along the way you may learn more about this Everett. I forbid you to linger a moment longer. And he's back. Like a divine comet, dive from the outer reaches and spread light and understanding to the inner Please. world. I'm not leaving. And you were showing such promise. So, are there any accounts as to why Grace was shut down in the first place? There's no electronic record at all. That would have been lost during the Great Dark Age. Dark Age? Much of humanity's record keeping would have been managed by Grace. So, when she went down 900 years ago, so did the ability to record what happened. The research that led me here was based on oral histories mostly, and some artifacts we uncovered on Earth and Mars. Relay devices that were once connected to Grace's network. Then we share an interest in shedding light on this dark age. From what I can tell, there is some sort of transit system on the other side of the control room, which should lead you to the other parts of the spire. I will illuminate the door leading to this transit system. Alas, I require your nimble fingers again. Alright, what's the pattern? Another easy one. The Phoenician letter Ta. Who would know that? I don't know. Perhaps an archaeologist? How about the Greek letter Chi? The Roman numeral 10? Okay, okay.
Please tell me you know your Roman numerals. How about a big fat X? You know that one? Just give me a sec. Got it. This is not the way to your ship. Do you believe Grace could have done something to cause humans to turn on her? Like what? Like becoming too overbearing? Humans would have been given no reason to question my bearing. It's one of my theories, yes. This must be the main entrance. I'm guessing the landing pad is on the other side of the big doors? That's correct, Addy. Though the pad appears to be buried under meters of ice. This looks Olympian or Neo-Egyptian. The triangle must represent the spire. Beautiful, don't you think? Does it matter if it's beautiful? I guess not. What are these for? They appear to be terminals for processing visitors to the Spire. But they no longer store any useful information. Cool statue. Or maybe it's a mobile. Do the little moons move? Perhaps at one point in time. Though I'm not sure of the relevance of that. Eh, just curious. Is this an airlock? Yes. The spire beyond this point can be pressurized. I assume your suit has limited oxygen? I have about five hours left. That's quite a risk you're taking. Were you assuming station life support could be restored? Well, can it? I believe so. But for reasons I'll never understand, life support is controlled by empathy processing. I suppose they had to give it something to do. I will enable that programming now. Hello, Addy. Hello. So, you're going to get oxygen going? The process has already begun, my friend. No rush. If you let me accompany you along the path ahead, I can balance the environment to your life force as we walk. Oh, here we go. Wow. How are these plants still intact? They must have been subject to a very sudden drop in temperature while still alive. What is this place? Remaining connected to one's natural world is important for a person's well-being. A fitting starting point for those entering the structure, don't you think? Do you see them, Addie? Life in perfect stillness? Um... The flowers defying the hoarfrost. As you have defied the emptiness of space to arrive here. I guess. Which one are you? Pardon me? Which one of these blooms best embodies your spirit? Seriously? It's important I know these things in the balancing of illuminatory ergonomics. Fancy words do not make this any less idiotic.